Welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about the top five Minecraft 1.13.2 mods. Now I know 114 is out now, but mods aren't out for 114 yet, at least not Forge mods. And all these mods here are Forge mods, meaning they're actually really good mods. Data packs were okay as mods, but these are awesome high quality Forge mods for Minecraft 1.13.2. There's actually so many mods out for 1.13.2 now that I had trouble coming up with this list. So way to go to mod creators, way to go to Forge getting updated and everything like that. And I can't wait for 1.14 Forge coming soon, I'm sure. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. But first, we have a mention our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS picked in Minecraft server running 1.13.2 Forge, running any mod pack you want. Apex has a 50 mod packs with one click installation and you can even run plugins vanilla minecraft 114 113 1.8 whatever you want to run if it involves minecraft you can do it with apex minecraft hosting so go to the first link down below again this is the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an incredible 24 hour minecraft server for you and your friends but nonetheless let's just go ahead and jump right on into it first and foremost we have just enough items just enough items is a really cool mod because it allows you to know what crafting recipes you need to actually get that item in game it's also helpful on just knowing what items are in minecraft let's say you install a few of these mods you know that we're going to be talking about here they're going to add items into the game and it's hard to keep track of what mods go with what items just enough items does all of that for you allowing you to search for mods allowing you to search for specific items in mods all sorts of stuff like that. It's all done with just enough items. So much so, I wouldn't play modded Minecraft without it, just because of the ease of use and having all of the data that it brings into the game about the mods you have installed. Even with vanilla, though, it can help you learn crafting recipes without having to like go look in the Minecraft book, which is a little difficult and hard for me to use. You might like it, but it's hard for me to use. Whereas just enough items, search bars in the top right, just click on it, type it in, boom, and you're good to go. It also has one click crafting, allowing you to click one little button on screen and bring everything you need out of your inventory into the crafting table to make crafting even easier. So because of all that, that's why Just Enough Items is actually number one on our list for 113.2. It's honestly something you need to run with every mod, and it can be really helpful in vanilla as well. So I thought that made it a good spot for first on the list. After that, though, we do have a bit of a more unique mod, and that is Doggy Talent. This is a really cool mod that actually makes wolves in Minecraft a lot more useful and turns them into actually dogs and your companions and gives them things to do other than just follow you around, sit down, and attack mobs when you're attacking them. It allows you to give 19 different and unique talents to your dog. It allows you to level your dogs up. It allows you to play fetch with them. It gives you the ability to put collars on your dogs. It makes you feed your dogs, have beds for them, take care of them, actually do stuff like that. In Minecraft, with the default wolves that are there. So that's pretty cool. It allows you to actually have a pet in Minecraft, which is something I think they could do better with in vanilla. So the fact this mod's adding it in, that's great. It keeps better track of hunger as well. It adds a ton of stuff in to do with dogs. You're seeing some of the features of it on screen right now. Literally, if you're looking for a way to like upgrade Minecraft and have fun with pets, this is a great way to do it. Doggy Talents adds so much stuff in with treats for your dogs, all sorts of awesome stuff. It even has an upgraded GUI that allows you to like put a radio chip in your dog to know where they're at, have a bed finder, all sorts of cool stuff that they can do and all sorts of different talents that your dog can have. So overall, I would recommend Doggy Talents for anyone who's looking to get Minecraft modded because it's a pretty easy mod to get started with, but it is pretty featured packed. From there, we have a simple mod, and that simple mod is Iron Chest. This is exactly what it kind of sounds like. It allows you to make iron chests, but it also allows you to make diamond chests and obsidian chests and all sorts of different chests, like gold chests, everything, because all of these chests are upgraded from the default wooden chest. For example, I think a full diamond chest is two wooden chests put together, right? So, so much stuff you can do there in a very, very cool mod that just kind of adds a bit of a boost to Minecraft and the storage system. For example, let's say you have a huge storage area and you're running out of space. Well, instead of making it even huger, you just install iron chest, place some iron chests down, and bada bing, bada boom, you're doubling the size of your storage room very, very easily by just using a few diamonds. As far as the mods on this list go, this is actually one of the more simpler ones, but I wanted to include it because I think storage in Minecraft could really use an improvement, and Iron Chest is working to do that. They haven't for a while. This is a long-standing mod. Now, speaking of long-standing mods, World Edit is now upgraded for 113.2. It's actually one of the reasons I was making this video. I wanted to include World Edit in this video, and it is now upgraded for 113.2, coming out just last week at the time I'm making this video. And that's right, single player World Edit running with Forge in Minecraft 1.13.2 is available. And if you don't know what World Edit is, basically it allows you to do amazing builds a lot quicker, allowing you to build spheres, allowing you to build big walls, remove things, add things, allowing you to create and change different textures and blocks. Let's say you built an entire house out of birch wood. 
but it looks horrible. With World Edit, you click one side of the build, you click the other side of the build, run one simple command, and boom, you are then able to completely change the look of that building, replace every single birch block in it without you having to lift a finger. Well, I guess you had to lift a few fingers, but still, it's a lot easier than going through, mining all the blocks, replacing them. World Edit allows you to do all of that with just commands and a wooden axe. Overall, World Edit is a plugin that we use on our server and that servers use all the time, but the fact that it's now finally available for 1.13.2 single player with Forge is great. And it's a mod that you can't really play modded Minecraft without, especially if you love building. If building is your primary thing, this is a great mod for you. Moving on from World Edit, we do have Security Craft. And really and truly, Security Craft adds, well, the developer says it adds what the name suggests, which is more security to Minecraft. But, you know, that could mean a bunch of different things. It specifically allows you to secure your builds, your houses, things like that better. It adds in lasers, retina scanners, keypads, unbreakable doors, and that's just the start of it. There is so much involved in this motion detection since there's all sorts of awesome stuff with Security Craft. If you're kind of looking to add in more blocks, more building blocks, let's say you're using World Edit, you could also use Security Craft to add in more cool building blocks and things like that into your game. You can also craft all of these in vanilla Minecraft, go out, strive to get them, work to get them. Some of the crafting recipes are pretty difficult and that makes sense because I mean you're securing your entire base right to where only you can get in. You can even hide complete areas of your base using security craft so overall this is a cool addition to Minecraft 113. Now that is five mods but I thought you know what let's go ahead and give one bonus mod for 113.2 and that is Xero's mini map. Yep, you heard that right, a mini-map for 113.2, and it's Xero's mini-map. It's a really simple mini-map. It allows you to see north, south, east, west. allows you to see, like, terrain and all that stuff, everything around you. Set waypoints, get to those waypoints, things like that. It also has a fair play version, which is allowed on most servers, including our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. That is the best Minecraft server in the universe. We have 113.2, Greek protected survival, custom economy, player economy, all sorts of awesome stuff, as well as awesome skyblock. So if skyblock's more your thing, then you're good to go with that over on play.breakdowncraft.com. Nevertheless, all of these mods are linked in the description down below. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, if you think there should be a mod on this list that's not included, let me know in the comment section down below. Additionally, some of you might be like, why is an Optifine on this list? Well, Optifine, at the time of making this video, is not Forge compatible for 113.2, and that was my criteria here. However, Optifine is something I would recommend for 113.2. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.